Today for our topic, I'll be talking about the spirit of miscarriage. Now let's get into it. The spirit of miscarriage. If someone has a spell of miscarriage on your life, the miscarriage looks natural. So if someone casts a spell for you to have a miscarriage, it will look natural. For example, you will fall down and you lose the baby, but it was not done naturally, and but it looks natural because that's what spells do. It will look natural, but it comes from a spiritual it comes from a spiritual root. You know, you you fall down, you got in a car accident, something happens, and you lost the baby. But it's not natural. It looks natural, but it comes from a supernatural place, from an evil altar. Under the curse of miscarriages, one of the main things that if you're under a curse of miscarriage, one of the main things you will notice, you will have nightmares in your dream. You will dream, you will see the, the loss of the child in the dream. You will see, that's what one of the primary stuff when you're under the curse or under the spell of miscarriage you'll see in a dream that you lost the baby for example you see like the baby falling or the baby um the car seat falling but you'll never see it hitting the ground just seeing it falling Mm -hmm. and that is one of the uh, main reasons when you're under the curse or under the spell of miscarriage you will have bad dreams now we're going to be moving on a list of miscarriage spell if a woman she has a miscarriage if she's under miscarriage spell she will have the miscarriage and she will become infertile if it's a man he's under the spell of miscarriage he will not become a father it doesn't matter how he tries he will have a low sperm count it doesn't matter what he does he will never ever become a father it doesn't matter what he does it doesn't matter what the woman does if god does not step in then he will never become a father and the woman will constantly have a miscarriage never he will never become a father and she will always have miscarriages she will get pregnant but she will not she will not be able to carry that baby to full term. And pre-adventure, she carries that baby to full term. When the baby borns, it's not, or it will be born, but it will be born dead. So when you're under the curse and the spell of miscarriage, the curse affects your emotional state. You're going to always be fearful, anxious, depression. Your body, you will become weak, joint pain, hair loss, tooth loss. You gain weight, you become obese. These are effects of when you're under the curse of miscarriage carriage these are the things that will happen to you so you just look at your life check and see if these things are happening to you when you get pregnant you never carry the child to full term even if you carry the child to eight months when the baby borns it dies you're under the curse of miscarriage if it's a man he never becomes a father he it doesn't he has a low sperm count it doesn't matter what he tries it doesn't matter what medication he takes it's not it's not physical it's spiritual someone has placed a spell on you the curse will affect every aspect of your life it will affect your emotional state it will affect your body it will affect everything and anything people will not like you you will go places people will not like you because one thing as i was doing this here one thing i learned that when um one of the reasons why people may not like you too because when you see when you're under when you're when you're next to someone and they have the curses on them you too by default it will start to affect your life directly not indirectly but directly it affects your relationship with other people people will start people will stop treating you the way that they used to friends will start avoiding you they will not want to talk to you Um, You will lose friendships. Um, People will hate you for no reason. People will see you and just dislike you. And these can also be um, when you're under the spell of witchcraft. People will see you and dislike you. Your family member turns away. And you find yourself alone. And that is when you're under the curses. You'll find yourself alone. You'll find yourself that you don't have friends. People that like you will turn away from you. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to be praying against the spirit of miscarriage and the curses of abortion. These are what happens to you when you're under the spell of miscarriage. It is...
Because the Bible says in Hosea, okay, the Bible says in Hosea 9, 14, it says I'm reading the NIV, give them, Lord, what will you give them? Give them womb that miscarry and breasts that don't, that breasts that run dry or breasts that are dry. So miscarriage is a sign of a curse when you uh, miscarry. Because remember, the Bible said when, when God said to Eve, he said, you will have pain during childbirth. So as a result of not going through the childbirth or going through it and uh, giving birth to a dead child. And I've known uh, all these things that I've said have happened to me. I happened to people that I've kn- I've seen people. Um, so it does happen and it does happen a lot. And these are when you're under curses of miscarriage or curses of the spell of abortion. When people go and they um, raise evil altars against your life, you will start to see the manifestation. But now we're going to be praying against every raised altar, every evil altar. Heavenly Father, God, we come before your throne of grace this morning. And we come before your throne of grace, repenting of our sins as if given the enemy the legal right, God has given the enemy the legal right, God, with the spirit of abortion, the spirit of miscarriage, God. We come to, before your throne of grace, Lord God, repenting of our sins that has given the enemy the legal right in our life. Lord God, you said Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse. Father God, we you deal with right now every evil altar of the spirit of miscarriage god that the enemy has raised against our life raised against our destiny raised against our glory we come against every altar of miscarriage every altar god every altar of miscarriage god we come against it now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh lord god heal oh lord god forgive oh lord god we destroy every evil altar that has been raised against against our life, raise against our destiny, raise against the glory, God. We come against the friendlessness, having no friends, God. People hating you for no reason, God. People not wanting to be around you, God. Family members walking away, God. We come against every raised altar, every evil altar, God, came in as a result. God, that came in, God, that took effect in our dreams, God. We come against them now, now, now. Lord God, you said in Psalms 1, 8, 1, I'm sorry, Psalms 1, 18, verses 17. It says, I'm probably saying the wrong Psalms, but it says, I shall not die, but live to declare the works and the word of the Lord. Lord God, we speak life instead of death. We come against the spirit of death. We come against the strong man of death. We decree and we declare life and life more abundantly. Lord God, you said in your word, I have come that you might have life and life more abundantly. God, we dispel the spirit of death and we we speak the spirit of life and life more abundantly. We come against every evil altar crying against our life, crying against our glory crying against our fruit of the womb we come against it now in jesus name now in jesus name we come against every evil altar raised against us in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name we come against them now 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law christ has redeemed us from every evil altar causing misfortune in our life every blood of the altar every blood of the sacrifice crying against our life christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord now 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord we decree and we declare by the mercies of God that we will live and not die that we will bring our child to full term that the child will live and the child will not die we curse the curse right now we speak life you said I have come that you might have life and life more abundantly we curse the curse we curse the evil altars we curse the blood of the altar crying against our life Life, crying against our glory, crying against our destiny. We curse the curse in the name of Jesus and we speak life. We speak life more abundantly. We curse the curse. We curse the altar. We curse the spirit of miscarriage, God. The blood of Jesus is stronger than the strong man of witchcraft. The blood of Jesus is stronger. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Lord God, we invoke the blood of Jesus against every spirit that is not of the Holy Spirit. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Every evil altar that is fueling the sacrifice against our life, God. We tear them down now. Now we send the fire of the Lord, the fire, the fire, the 
fire. We consume them and we thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us the victory against every evil altar that is crying against our life, that is crying against our glory, and that is crying against our destiny now, 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 in Jesus Christ's name.